Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to solve this log equation where y is greater than 3 11 And you can see there's two answers. Those answers are y equals a third or y equals 3 over 2. Both are greater than 3 11 Now, in order to solve this, just in case there were any problems, I'll take you through the method. What we need to do in log equations is make sure that we reduce them down to one term on one side of the equals and one term on the other side of the equals. And in this one, we've got three terms on the left hand side. They're all log terms, so we can actually group them together by using basic log rules. So what I've done is I've pulled out minus one across these two terms here. And that gives me the log of 3 in base 2. But when it comes to this term here, instead of just writing plus 2 log of y in base 2, you'll notice that I've used the power rule for logs, and that is I've taken the 2 up as a power of y. So you should be familiar with that, okay? If not, do check out my tutorials on logarithmic rules. Now that I've got this stage, I can group together these two terms. Remember, with addition, this is the same as the log of 3 times y squared in base 2. So that creates one term there, as I've got, okay, here. And now we can pick up on the subtraction idea of logs, that this reduces to dividing, okay? So you'll see that I've divided here the log of 11y minus 3 over 3y squared in base 2. So I've now got my equation down to two terms, one term on each side of the equals. And when you get to that stage, you can anti-log it, get rid of the log. And so for this one, because we're working in base 2, we get 11y minus 3 over 3y squared equals the base, which we know is 2, okay, from here, raised to this power 1. Okay, so we've got 2 to the power 1. 2 to the power 1 is 2, and so I've got a simple equation now where I can multiply through by 3y squared, and that will now give me 11y minus 3 equals 6y squared. I can see I've got a quadratic equation looming up here now, so I need to rearrange it, make it equal to 0, which is what I've done. And then I can solve this either by the quadratic formula, or better still, just by factorising, which I've done here. Each of the factors then is equal to zero and that leads to y equaling a third or y equaling three over two. Do check out your answers. Check that they are greater than three elevenths. Well, they both are, so that leads us to our two answers. y equals a third then or y equals three over two.